you're not live. Oh, it works now. Sorry, guys. Hi, how are you, everybody? <laughs> I have problem with my Wi-Fi in the countryside, uh, but it's coming. I think this one is working. Who knows? Ah, terrible. Hi, Diana. Sorry, I had a Wi-Fi weirdness. Hi, Aliki. Hi. Vanina, je crois. Reine de la goulette. Aliki, la beauté. Hi. Comment estás? Now I need to fix my music, if you want, after the Wi-Fi. How are you all? So, I'm feeling better and better, which is amazing, because I've been really feeling unwell for two weeks, having had the lovely virus. So now it's official, I had the virus and I am back into life. I wrote, um, I will write to you what happened and how I came out of on the other side, but it's all amazing. I'm not completely myself yet. I lost more than two kilos, which is huge for me. Um, <laughs> and I'm ready for an amazing meditation. Um, I'm trying to see where we're gonna listen to this music because I changed all around today. Voila, là ça va marcher. I found this music. Ah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. This is a music I used to listen 20 years ago when I was writing my first book and it's my friend Chris Connors who is brought back who has brought it back to me. It's amazing music from Ayub Ogada is African uh, singer. So anyway, hi to have you back. Hi Debra. Okay. So I want to tell you something. Um something very interesting. Um, yesterday I was feeling much better and I opened my window, had a lot of wind coming to me and I'm sure you had a lot of wind everywhere by the way <laughs> and I had uh, you know some presents coming to me and it was like a gift and I call it the Pleiadians. It's an energy that comes to us regularly. Ah, hi Bianca! Nice to meet you. Hi everybody, Jada, my Emma, Vita. I know you have another name. Hi Cecile. Hi everybody. Christina. Yes, I'm. I'm really healed. Healed. I'm on the way back to the highest and higher energy. Not totally high yet, but it's coming. It's coming. It's a matter of patience, and I hope I will be able to write about my last weeks of being uh, not well and going through the up and downs because I want to write high or pretty design yeah um, I guess you're Bianca no yes I want to write about the impact of the fear uh, upon us and how it just uh, impedes us to be clear to be centered and to be healing uh, nicely so I hope I will write a blog soon and I will post it on Instagram. Okay, so yesterday was a visitation of the Pleiadians. So Pleiadians are a civilization that is ahead of us. They are literally our future. And they always came uh, to give information, energy to a lot of people on earth. And yesterday I had an amazing moment with them and I was able to channel and today I felt that oh, wow, we really need to do this meditation, even if I'm not completely there back to my high energy in my body, I mean. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Um, it was all about the bridge. The, 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 the whole channel was about 
What is the bridge? How can we walk on the bridge? What is the bridge about? So the bridge is about from where we are to our higher self, to our a little higher energy than where we are usually. And the bridge is really to bring us back to a higher level of who we are, which is more about self-love. It's more about self-acceptance. And it's more about stop judging who we are. And actually, I thought it was, oh my God, it's going to be very technical and very, um, you know, very highly spiritual. And, and the more it's highly spiritual, the more it's simple, which is always the great news. It's like when you read uh, the Bible or whatever, it feels simple, but the simple words and truth are always the deepest, right? So what was it about? It was really about bridging between who we are now and who we are in the future. And they were saying that this period of COVID, which is not the best for us, but it's the best because it's a purging of the old energy in ourselves, in Mother Earth, in, every, in the institution, etc., etc. And I'm sure you know, it's quite uh, obvious. Um, but what is important, they really said, now it's time to stop always using the same tools, which is always saying, oh, uh, I need to be beautiful. I need to be this. I need to be smart. I need to be rich. I need to, to have an amazing skin, whatever. And it's very, very detrimental. Very, it destroys our own energy. It destroys our strengths and it destroys our connection to spirit inside because we spend so much energy trying to fix ourselves. Uh, but in this society, imperial needs to be something, to be beautiful, to be rich, to be smart, to be pleasant, to be whatever. So it's a very important homework that we have to do is to take it day by day and really visualize what are we imposing to ourselves? What are you telling you in front of your mirror every morning? What are you saying? I need to be that beautiful, whatever. Have that nose, have that cheeks, that have whatever dress, that anyway. So everything you should have, you need to address it again. You, everything you judge yourself about, you need to stop and you need to address it again. Because this is the foundation of your day, your energy, your connection to yourself. And the bridge is about stopping it. And taking that bridge, working on it, is really stripping and stripping away. All these things that you non-stop say to yourself all day long. And the problem is we are these people who are unconsciously repeating ourselves, I'm not enough. That's it. We, we, don't, we don't listen that we are enough. We don't trust the whole process. And this is getting worse in terms of energy because the energy has shifted to where we need to be our souls and we need to really recollect, recollect that purity of who we are. And it's all behind the I should be, I should have, I should not, <laughs> I would love, you know, all the would, should, not, not enough. This whole thing, you take a path and you write them. And that's it. So I'm going to start the meditation. Sorry, I really needed to tell you that because I really felt it was not enough to read books, to do meditation and to come back after meditation. And say, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to go there because I'm not enough. You know what I mean? You know, all of us, we know we do that all the time to ourselves, right? You are enough, you are amazing. And the more you repeat that to yourself, the more you're gonna strengthen yourself and you're gonna walk on that bridge and the bridge to your soul, okay? So the session is not finished, but this is the energy I received from the play agents and I can answer your question about them. And 
but they are very strong and they very they feel harsh harsh sometimes but they are not they're just ahead of us and they're here to help so lots of love and we're gonna start the meditation so please sit down close your eyes and start breathing and I'm so happy to be back with you so start breathing a very strong wide energy through your nose through your nose breathe in this very pure light very strong light the light that you would see in the morning what you would see on a saint you know in your imagination or in like each religion has its own saints it could be Jesus it could be Moses it could be Allah it could be you know this white light that is very saintly saintly so breathe in breathe it breathe it in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth do that many times very deeply. Close your eyes to let go of where you are in terms of space right now just to be able to be able to really connect deep down within thank you and fill up your whole body inside of this wild fresh energy of prana prana is the life force chinese call it chi like qigong you know the science of chi of the of life energy so breathe that in very consciously very sensually because your breathing is your tool very powerful tool but also very sensual as you are breathing you are just bringing this force in yourself and you are the master of that force you are the master of that life energy when you are sick you are allowing this life force to decrease to allow something to come in your space right but you are the master to breathe in back that life force energy in yourself through your nose and breathe out through your mouth everything that needs to really be released which is tension lower vibration that comes from tension hooks judgment self-judgment which is the worst judgment because self-judgment brings you the judgment of others So breathe in this prana, this white light, and breathe in suddenly an energy of self-respect into your body everywhere. And that self-respect energy has an impact on you. That is like a light that is saying hi to all the parts in your body, saying, I respect you, my body. I respect you, my mind, my heart, my emotional, my root chakra that holds the life force. I respect all of you. I respect the elements that are making me. I respect the air, the fire the water and the earth that are making myself everywhere and I respect the magic of being made 
being present in this body, being a hope for my spirit, for my soul. Yeah, I am the pure spirit, Jada, thank you. So receive that very high level of energy through your breathing into your body. It's the very light and very vibrant white energy. And you kind of feel slowly and slowly that your body is full, really full of that breathing, of that light, that white light. It's vibrating at a higher level. It's almost like your whole body feels lighter and more vibrant. And this self-respect that you are breathing in, I respect who I am in all my parts, inside all my cells. And when I respect, I listen. When I listen, I bring in this energy of self-love, self-awareness where I am today. Am I grounded in my body, in the, on this earth, in this moment, in time? And this is the biggest gift you will be able to have, is to feel that you are living the fullness of yourself, of your life, of your moment. And suddenly your body feels present, and it feels light, but it feels heavy because it's present. And actually, the law of attraction from Mother Earth is playing a very high role in your life. And it's one to cherish. It gives you your balance. It's like a dance that you have with Mother Earth. And now I would like you to start breathing through your crown chakra. Your crown chakra is breathing in this white light from the central sun. The central sun is sending you these rays of very high level of light to your crown. And your crown is breathing and opening, opening, opening. Your, your crown chakra is opening very wide, preparing for the work, preparing for receiving information, visions, dreams, spirit, your higher self, your soul. And I continue to breathe in this white light through my crown chakra and I receive this white light inside my head, in my brain. And I let my brain relax, release all these strings of tension attached to it. I release the tension that is in my brain. I let my brain relax. And I breathe in this white light. And I spread this white light into the whole face, my cheeks, my mouth, my nose, my eyes, my eyebrows, inside my mouth, in my palate, in my tongue in my jaws this is a very important one your jaws releasing the tension and continue to breathe in this white light balancing all the tension away into your face into your head in our inside and i would like you to receive the white light into your third eye and feel that your third eye in the middle of your forehead is receiving that ray of white light and that your third eye is just opening, releasing the tension, 
releasing the tension is the doorway to your soul. It's the doorway to your higher self, to your vision inside, in your inner quest. We put tension in the third eye, even if we don't believe in spirituality. Sometimes we block it, we don't want to hear, we don't want to hear anything about our intuition, right? Sometimes we don't really realize it. This comes from a very old reflex of childhood, where we were segregated from our deeper self. So release the tension from the third eye. And also, the third eye is connected to your inside, your brain, inside your head, the, the gland of the, we call it pituitary gland, which is really like your computer to your soul. So please just breathe in the white light, directing it to the center of your head, to this gland. And breathe very deeply this white light into it, please. And release the tension. And also this gland is often busy with different matters that are blocking the light to come in. So just breathe in the light into it to say hello, declutter the space there. And I just feel as I breathe in, I have the capacity to send the breathing to that gland inside my head. And you have it too. bring this white light in all the muscles that hold your head all around your head release the muscles release the muscle in your neck in the front in the back and in the shoulders release the tension that is in, in your shoulders and all this area of your head, neck and shoulder is relaxing, releasing tension. And feel the white light really giving us feeling of lightness that are releasing the heaviness, the tightness away. And now bring in the white light in the throat chakra and feel this throat, feel it. Just breathe in the white light and start breathing in it. will give you a consciousness of the space because it's, each chakra has a consciousness and a lot of information for you. So because we are not used to talk to your chakra, as you breathe in consciously the white light into it, you're opening the space and the consciousness of the chakra is opening and sending you a wave of information, of love, of releasing tension away. Your throat chakra is opening, expanding, expanding, opening, like a fortress is opening sometimes releasing anxiety, releasing things that you don't want to express because you're afraid, because you don't want to express yourself for a reason. And now start to receive this white light into your torso, your bust, into your arms, please. Your arms, your hands are just receiving this white light and light giving a lot of movement of the cells in your arms, in your hands. You're going to feel them much lighter. And receive the white light into your heart chakra.
your heart chakra is a very important moment now of receiving light, breathing consciously the energy in it. And as you're receiving this white light coming from the central sun and spirit, I would like you to feel that your heart is being activated your heart chakra being activated and your heart chakra is opening and this whole moment of this meditation of this sacred moment the heart chakra will reveal space consciousness vibration tension judgment love heart chakra is releasing tension at the minute as you are breathing this white light and releasing releasing tension and feel that your heart chakra is opening like um, a cone so it starts in the middle of your chest and it opens like a cone into a very expanded space. And your heart becomes literally an immense space of consciousness. You may have vision right now, I'm telling you, because as you're opening the consciousness, you have vision coming. But what is important is that you are opening the space and you are releasing tension and you are releasing self-judgment. And this is the key of the work of today. And we are assisted by an energy, a white energy coming from the central sun that will help us declutter the heart. The heart. And I would like first to continue to the emotional chakra in your solar plexus. Receive the white light in your solar plexus. Receive that white light and feel how this space of consciousness that is your emotional chakra is gonna open up and open up, widen, open up, release the tension from it. Your emotional chakra is opening and expanding like a very wide space of consciousness, going to a higher vibration. And in that moment, it just release the low energy emotional stuff. And you feel that the space is lighter, suddenly. And I feel that my solar plexus is opening and like right energy is there. So many emotions are stuck there. And I know they are not mine, so I'm okay to release them. I'm okay. I have lived them, I honor them, I'm grateful to have learned and I'm grateful to release them as long as they don't serve me anymore. And I honor that liberation. Whatever goes through your mind, let it go and fly away. Honor it, embrace it, be grateful. And now receive this white light in your navel chakra. Continue that work of liberation. Free yourself from the tension, from the judgment. And feel that you're receiving this white light in your navel. white light is making this 
space be more vibrant suddenly. And feel the white light going in through your organs like a movement of a circle, always a circle. And you can do that with your hand, pass your hands like a circle above your organs of your navel chakra. And the white light is received and allowing that space to open up, open up to more light and release the tension. And feel that the white light is expanding everywhere in your stomach area. Releasing the old your energies of yourself that you don't need, that are heavy in your organs. And now receive the white light into your root chakra. And this is an important moment as you are reaching out to the space of prana that's where you are starting the life energy in your root. Your root chakra is receiving this white light right now. And you are breathing in the white light very deeply inside your root chakra. And breathing out all the tension that may occur in this area. And it's everything between your hips all your organs, your seat bone, your coccyx, your reproductive organs, and feel as you breathe in, in this white light energy into your root chakra, that you are grounded that your hip bones is really touching Mother Earth with love, with weight, with desire to be present. And from your hip bones, from your coccyx, feel that you are growing some roots right now. And your roots are going through and into Mother Earth. And you're very present. You're merging your energy through your roots with Mother Earth. And now I would like you to really continue to breathe in this white light into your root chakra and discover the strength of your inner fire, sacred fire of life into your root chakra. The more you breathe in this white light into your root chakra, the more you will feel this sacred fire being activated. And you will feel physically the impact of the sacred fire which is really the prana life force energy starting to unlock and get more vibrant. It will go up, up, up your spine until it reach your crown chakra. Sometimes you won't feel it in the crown, sometimes you will, but it's just a matter of being aware, breathing it, breathing more into it and make it work more and more. And now I would like you to really concentrate yourself on the tube of light. And I would like you to go back to your crown chakra and visualize your tube of light, your prana life energy tube that starts at your crown, goes along your spine and reach out to your coccyx. 
and breathe very deeply and strongly this life this white light energy into the tube of light And the tube of light is breathing like you are breathing with your lungs your tube of light is breathing light in and out from the ground to the coccyx and it's enjoying it and there is a movement of energy in it I love it I breathe in this white light energy until I feel the pulse of energy in my tube of light until I feel the presence the physical presence real in my back and feel that this tube of light the more you work with it the more it's present it's obvious and it's nourishing you and all your chakra it's a chakra feeding system the more you will be aware of it, the more you will be able to communicate with the prana life energy, with Mother Earth and the Central Sun. So please start feeling this energy in your prana tube and grow the prana tube into Mother Earth. grow the tube of light from the crown to the coccyx into mother earth and there you're going to connect your tube of light into mother earth into the center and you will reach the center of mother earth and in this moment You will be able to be in the center of Mother Earth yourself. Through your tube of light, you bring your consciousness of yourself and you are there in the cave, cave of crystals that Mother Earth is preparing for you. These crystals are all white and suddenly turn into many different colors and will address colors for your own self. And you are in that room, in that cave of Mother Earth. You are welcome there, full of nourishment, of energy. And you will feel it in your body. How it feels to be in the center of Mother Earth. And connect with Mother Earth. Be present to her. Send your love, your gratitude and receive all this vibration of these crystals and these vibrations are just addressed in your organs, in every single cell of your body and feel how you are just more vibrant and then be grateful to mother earth and come back through the tube of light and send your love back to her and all this energy from the crystal and mother earth bring it through the tube of light in your sacred heart in your heart chakra And your heart is full of this vibration from the crystals. And now grow the tube of light towards the central sun above your crown chakra. And the tube of light is growing, growing in the sky, reaching to the central sun. The central sun is receiving your energy and sending you back this incredible light.
that you will receive like a rain of particle of sunlight that you will receive on your crown, on your whole body, in your auric field and in your tube of light. You may feel it physically and it will enter yourself inside and go into your heart chakra right now. And now I would like you to bring awareness to the crown chakra and start breathing this white light energy again in your, in your heart chakra, heart chakra. And in your heart chakra, I would like you to bring this white light in the center of the center. There is what I call the gate to your soul. And it's like a flower and this flower is opening. The more you breathe in, the more this flower is opening. And in the center of that flower, a gate is opening and there is a path that you will walk on. And it's a path in a beautiful scenery of nature. And you're gonna walk on that path. And nature is incredible. It's absolutely green, pristine, vibrant. And on that path, you will find your soul. And take your soul in your arms. And at the end of the path, as you walk with your soul, there is a being waiting for you. And this being is a master, a guide, an angel. It is you only who can see who it is, it's yours. And that being is bringing you on a bridge and this bridge is made of light. And on the other side of the bridge, there is your higher self, which is your version of self in your future and in your presence right now. And the bridge is full of light. It's almost like, it's like in Disney movie when we see this light under the feet, right? It's a bridge of consciousness, really. And you're enjoying that walk. You're dancing on the bridge with your soul joining that higher self that is waiting for you and you're going to dance with your higher self with that being that is with you now teaching you a dance teaching you some energy teaching you some consciousness and as you dance you are feeling that you are releasing and stripping away some weight some part of yourself are just, just not holding on anymore. Fears, tension. And suddenly your heart feels more vibrant, happier, joyful, blissful. And your higher self is telling you, are you, he are you ready to release more and more? And you're dancing in circle and it's a sacred moment, enjoy it. This higher being is bringing a very high vibrational energy around that circle, creating remembrance in your consciousness. When I said remember, because your future is already lived, 
Your past and your future are joining here. The music is finishing and now you're just saying thank you to this being, to your higher self. And you're coming back on the bridge, gathering all this energy in yourself. walking back on the path and just saying thank you to this being, this master, that guide, that angel saying thank you to your higher self for being present, showing you the way feeling your body now in this moment and you're walking back the path with your soul coming back to your heart heart center and you're coming back to the gate of your soul in your sacred heart coming back to your body here and now thank you to your soul thank you to your higher self thank you to this highest being of wisdom that came today in this Pleiadian energy that we receive in our sacred heart and feel your heart chakra now just feel it feel how you are expanded soothed softened full of self-belief I love myself, I trust myself, I release all the judgment that is limiting who I am, I am grateful for Mother Earth, I am grateful for my soul, my higher self and all the masters, angel guides that are helping me on the way on this journey my heart is appeased my third eye is open and I'm really releasing the fears that I can see today coming back to my heart slowly <coughs> to all my energy of my body and I start to come back in my awareness of where I am I want you to feel first your auric field receiving this energy of the heart And I would like you to start moving the body. So it's a way to come back. And I 
would like you to move your body as you know of your time but we're gonna come back slowly and as you're coming back sitting down if you want if you want I would like you to start breathing again in your body Start opening your eyes, evidently, and being present with me or continuing the meditation on your side. We have a few minutes to go. And I'm here if you need to question, uh, to ask me question or anything. Just enjoy them before the three, four minutes we have. Oh, more than that, actually. It's great. And start, I mean, continue to breathe. Never forget your machine of energy. And anchor this energy that we are gathered today. Anchor it through the roots, as I said. Mm, thank you. Thank you so much. Juliana, mia vita. I love it. Continue to anchor this whole beautiful energy you receive today for yourself. now I hope you're feeling it yes self worth yeah into divine feminine power total embodiment amazing Christina love it oh great Scott thank you we all need that moment together thank you Cecile my pleasure ah crystal stardust Nice to have you. Iblota, thank you. Love you too, Cecil. Oh. Let me put something different. Okay, so I hope you have a great week. Um, so Wednesday, I do a healing session. And um, I think we'll continue this kind of work, but it's gonna go deeper. And I know, if, ah, thank you, Diana. I know a few of you have already subscribed to the, to the healing session, so I can't wait. I'm really happy to be back <coughs> in the work. Really missed it. No, pas du tout. No problem. What color was it? Quelle couleur c'était, Cécile? 
you know it's very important that you respect what you receive in your in your own uh, visualiz visualization very important actually thank you marlenec orange okay interesting hmm. okay orange is very often uh, about um devotion devotion i think in terms of sense juliana i think it's always personal but as you saying that i think frankincense frankincense is a sacred sense that um even maria magdalena has used and it's very often the sacred feminine energy of priestesses sorry priestesses and magical women like you so i think you will enjoy it green for you wow it's incredible that we are getting all kind of color it's because color corresponds to the work you're doing on in your body in your soul and so you have to respect what you receive absolutely yeah there is no judgment and I know some people even don't receive colors at all and they are blocked with that problem, but it's not a problem. We all receive differently. We have visions, we have sense. I know sometimes I receive sense out of the blue. So not now, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. Orange is about devotion. And if I feel anything else, I will send you a message. okay so have a good evening relaxing yeah julian i really feel frankincense is really imposing thank you diana christina everybody oops thank you jadav for all your nice comment. Thank you, Juliana. Ah, j'adore cette musique. Ah, great. Merci. Have a great evening. Merci, Vanina. See you, some of you, on Wednesday night for incredible healing moment. I can't wait actually. Have a great and if you can't it's okay we'll do many. We'll do always with the moon now. So this is the full moon. And then we'll have the dark moon which is the new moon. Thank you Joe. And please if you have question I will be there. Okay? Uh Wednesday it's the same. It's 6 p.m. UK which is 7 p.m. in Paris, so I don't know where you are, Marlinec. Yes, so we'll enjoy the full moon. And also, sometime when I do a healing session, I will be also making available the replay of the session. And that's it. And let me know if some people want a uh, movement meditation one day okay sending you love 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 self-respect self-love no judgment judgment goes on your writing path it would be great imagine each time you judge yourself you block it on the paper and say oh okay let's Okay? Lots of love. See you on uh, Wednesday. Bye-bye. Lots of love.